Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how I put in iris hooks and hopefully give you some top tips to help you deal with small pupils during cataract surgery. My first top tip is to think about location. You can see I tend to try and go for four iris hooks and therefore I make sure I put my main incision at about 12 o'clock so they're away from the iris hooks. Now there is some variability into positioning of the incision for the iris hooks. You can go corneal, limbal. I prefer to go slightly posterior to the limbus, but I think the main principle is the same, is that you try to keep in the plane of the iris, uh, just to allow a good angle for the iris hook to bring the iris back without causing any damage. You can use a needle or different types of blades as an MVR blade. I'm using a 15 degree in this video. And another tip is that you can bend the blade just to help you get access to that inferior nasal portion, as you can see here. Iris hooks can be quite fiddly and bendy and my advice would be to try and hold them as close to the hook as possible when inserting it into the eye as they will bend if you're not careful. And you can see here I'm using two instruments and gently insert the hook and rotate it so the iris is being held and I'm pre-placing each hook. Um, so I don't pull just yet, I just hook it under the iris and tighten up the collar to make sure it doesn't move. And I'll be putting my second, third and fourth iris hook here. Another small tip to help you manipulate and rotate the iris hook is to rotate the actual collar itself. As you can see, when you do rotate the collar, the hook rotates with it and you can rotate the collar to ensure that the hook is under the iris appropriately when you are pre-placing. After you've made your incisions, it can sometimes be quite tricky to remember where they are, so use the hemorrhage as a guide. You can see it gives a bit of a clue after I clear things up here where the incision is. Now you can see that I'm struggling to get this hook underneath the iris. Uh, the capsule and the iris are quite close together at this point. So what I'd recommend is use viscoelastic. Um, it's a great way to create space in between the capsule and the iris, just to allow the iris to be hooked more easily. And you can do this for all the hooks if you need to. I've only done this for the one. Now I'm starting to tighten up the iris hooks one by one, and you can see me starting with the first. There is an argument that you don't need to tighten them this much, and in hindsight, you can damage the iris root when doing this, but at the same time, you need to ensure that you have good access to the cataract to ensure that you have a safe surgery. Now we just proceed with a normal cataract surgery, so going through my capsular excess here and then using a primary trop to break up the nucleus. Cortex removal and now inserting the intraocular lens. Now 
Now, removal of the iris sorts can be quite a dangerous process as well, and you really need to respect the capsule. Gently loosen the iris hook, rotate it, make sure it's away from the capsule when you pull it away. You don't want to pull that capsule or rip the capsule and cause the anterior capsule tear when you're removing the iris hook. The iris hooks are quite flexible and you can rotate them when you take them out, but given they're quite flexible, you can also just pull them out as well, as long as they're rotated upwards. So that's a short little video just giving some hints and tips for using iris hooks. I hope you find this helpful uh, and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.